Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 29th through July 5th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll um, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's see, Saji. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Four of Pentacles, uh, you're hanging on to something. There's some sort of resistance in you letting go of something or someone. Um, in your recent past, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. You are doing so, good, uh, so great here. I feel like there was a time of possibly not knowing which direction to go, what to do, what to look at, what to learn, what to, you know, things like that. And I feel like you started to, at some point, come out of that confusion in terms of, all right, so I've got a million options to learn about something. How do I do it? Where do I go? Just pick one. And I feel like you chose a path. To possibly work on yourself, to possibly understand something better. And you came out of a confusing time and you started to go on a good, promising route. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, screw this. You know, I'm not going to pay any more attention to this at all. So I don't know what the hell happened here. We'll see. In your current situation, you get the Ten of Wands, the Emperor and the Devil. You're making things hard for yourself for some reason. And you are the one that's doing that because you got the devil attached here to you. You could be the emperor. You could be, I got it. And I feel like it happened when you decided to forget about what it is that you were going through, which was a good energy of you learning things and learning from things, from past things, past mistakes, whatever. And you stopped doing that. The minute you stop doing that, things got really, really hard. In your immediate future, you get the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Wands. You're obsessed with happiness here. To be honest, it, it's, it's, it kind of shows up as you fantasizing about how it is to be happy. And then that fantasy turns into obsession. You know, I need to get to this happiness somehow. You may not know how with the Eight of Swords here. Because this is you looking for happiness in a very logical way. And happiness is felt. It's not thought of. So. Let's, um. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Four of Pentacles here. The Knight of Cups, the Chariot, and the Knight of Swords. You may be pursuing someone. You may be trying things with someone. There's love there. There's determination. But there's also a sense of, let's push this. Let's rush this. Let's, you know, let's, let's. Instead of letting things flow, you may be wanting to force them a little bit. Uh, let's do the Six of Swords in your recent past. The Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Something intrigued the hell out of you. I feel like something showed up. So you are in a process of possibly healing, possibly working on yourself. And then something shows up that kind of like made your heart sing a little bit. And you're like, ooh, this feels good. I'm going to go get it. 
Something interrupted your process and that's why you stopped working on yourself here, possibly, and your focus went straight to this. It does look like a partnership. You could be working with this person, but it's it feels very good. It feels very good to your heart. And because of that, this, the focus shifted from you onto this, whatever it was. Let me clarify the Ten of Wands in your current situation. <laughs> wow. So as I said, in your current situation, you get the Ten of Wands, the Emperor and the Devil, right? Clarifying the Ten of Wands is the Devil, the Emperor <laughs> and the Seven of Cups. Um, you're faced with a choice here. You're faced with you need to choose what you want to do next. Um, possibly between two people or more, uh, possibly between two situations or more. And why the devil is showing up with the emperor in here and why things are so hard for you, uh, because you're not listening to your intuition. Your intuition knows already the truth, what you want. You can have a million options in front of you. Your heart knows which one is the right one. But you may be overthinking things. You may be like, uh, I don't know. They all feel good. This one has what this one doesn't have. And then this one has what the other one doesn't have. Think with your heart a little. Uh, let's do the Emperor. The Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess. All right, so your intuition is telling you there is one. I feel like this emperor might be your person here since you're showing up with the Queen of Wands. So when it comes to choosing this person that you know that you want, why you're having a hard time choosing them is because you're associating them with trouble. It's like, oh, oh okay, it feels like this is the person I want, but... What if they're a cheater? What if they're that? What if they're that? What if you want this person? It's here. You're not letting them go. Energetically, you already have them. Your choice is made. The worldly stuff places you into this fear of, yeah, but what if they're like this and like that and like that? They will be if you're thinking of them like that. So for the devil, you get the Six of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Two of Wands. See, you already know the answer. Once you open up your heart and choose with your heart what you want to do, this devil energy that makes you think like this person is no good is going to go away. Uh, I'm not saying they're good or no good. It's a matter of the moment of your choice. That's what's tainted here with um, the devil's energy, you know. Uh, let's do the uh, Eight of Swords in the immediate future. You get the Judgment card, the Hierophant, and the Empress. All right. How is it that decisions show up with you from here? Too much activity here. Look at how spiritual and how open-hearted this is supposed to be. Look what's in the middle of what you're doing here. Choices, right? How am I going to choose? What am I going to choose? Is this good for me? Is this not good for me? It's more than mind-level kind of decision here. It's what you feel. That's it. If we let the noise here disturb us, oh yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do shit. Uh, let's see, let me clarify the Nine of Cups. Same shit comes up over and over and over again in this reading. The Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Cups.
which means deep down you know where your happiness is you know who you love you know what your choice is you know it already you just need to come choose make this choice from a heart space because the mind is telling you no way it's gonna work out mm -mm. it's not gonna work out it's a it's a battle that you're going through here um where i feel like you're placed in front of a decision and you can't figure it out the more you think about it the worse it's going to get which is looking like this is the process you're going through right now let's clarify the six of wands if i see this eight of swords coming up again eight of swords ace of pentacles and the nine of wands even in the mind it's starting to make sense that's what's interesting you know yeah there's a whole lot of fear here there's a whole lot of what do i do what do i do what do i do but even in the mind noise and clutter that's going on this makes sense somehow you know it's making you happy here so even there it's starting to to make sense and you're still not letting it make sense that tells me saggy you're going through a lot of deep fears and securities it's coming from you not from them it has nothing to do with them um let's see what the universe has yeah you're contemplating on this the hermit the knight of wands and the ace of cups you're contemplating on beginning something it could be a new person it could be with an old person it's a brand new energy of love so there's a lot of you thinking about it as we established here uh there's too much of you thinking about it but yeah you're like at a war your mind and your heart add are battling each other right now so um yeah we'll see what happens hope this helped see you next time